All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to show you what the Ford Falcon FG looks like when we change from that original light oyster tan material to a black option. And when it comes to changing black, there's usually three options we can choose. So on the left here, we've got the anthracite flat knit, which is more of a charcoal type of black. And then in the middle there, we've got the ebony flat knit material, which is as pretty much as dark as you can go in roof lining materials. And then on the far right there, we have the ebony velour, which is more of that softer type of finish feel to it so in the video today we actually use the ebony uh, velour material so here you can see how the customer decided to just leave the pillars the grab handles and the interior lights sun visors all the original color and you can see it just gives off a nice contrast anyway when you do change that headlining to a black option because your bottom half of your car is that darker color on the door trims and the dashboards and it gives off that nice effect but you can see here where the, uh, another customer has basically sprayed all their pillars and plastic components all black ready for us to install and look at that doesn't that look bloody beautiful you can just see I think that gives off that FGX um, type of look where they um, came out originally black anyway so um, yeah let me go know what you guys think in the uh, comments below and maybe uh, any products you've used uh, that you recommend on spraying plastic interior parts um, black is there any products um, you got those a uh, couple of those ones you can buy from the local super cheap auto stores and yeah if you found um, luck with any of those just comment below maybe your process and what products you use it'll be good to read through those and maybe because um, we're going to start offering that service where we spray the plastics black for customers ready for them to um, basically we'll have an exchange ready so you bring in your original material um, pillars and plastics and we'll swap them over the black kits but you can see here where like the screws went in the black did start to break off where the screws went so a bit of touch-ups would be required there um, and also where the sun visor rubs on the sun visor clip you can see how it's kind of rubbing off the paint a bit so I knew that was kind of going to happen I let the customer know and he's just going to go around and basically um, just touch those up after the installation process anyway yeah so in summary guys i'd love to know what you think if you want to drop a comment below it would be excellent just to read through that any suggestions that you guys might have and don't forget to like this video and if you haven't already and you want to help this channel grow click that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video see ya